Hello, coffee connoisseurs. Welcome to another episode of Coffee Snob Reviews. I'm your host, The Coffee Snob, and today I'm going to be reviewing Major Dixon's Blend by Pete's Coffee. Let's go! Pete's Coffee was recommended to me by a viewer of the channel, TR Vlogs, who has a very interesting blog that I check out from time to time. TR Vlogs, thank you very much for watching my videos. Thank you for being a viewer of the channel. I appreciate you, and I appreciate your recommendations. I'm extremely excited to get into this bag of coffee and do this review, but before I do, I want to show you guys this. Something that I bought to add to the wall, coffee time, because anytime is coffee time. So as you can see on the bag, we're going to be doing a dark roast today. Personally, I love a good dark roast, so I have high hopes for this coffee. So let's get on into it. This smells, oh, this smells like it's going to be an amazing dark roast. It's got a very crisp and fresh scent to it, and it's very bold, but it's bold without being too sharp. I don't think this is going to be a very bitter coffee. If it tastes how it smells, I think this is going to be a wonderful coffee. Let's look into getting this bag open. I'm excited to try this. I love the smell of coffee. I, I'm sure you all know this well by now, but I love the smell of coffee. So like I said, this has a very bold scent to it. It's a very robust scent to it. It's not too sharp. But this smells like it's going to be a very flavorful coffee, and I personally cannot wait to try it. So I'm just going to go and get this brewing. While the coffee's roasting, I want to talk about Pete's coffee a little bit. Something that I like, okay, you can see it. I wasn't sure if it was going to be bright enough, but right here, it has a roasted on date, and it had a freshest by date. This bag was roasted on 621 of 23 and is freshest by 1019 of 23. Now, I ordered this bag quite a while ago. It's been sitting in my cupboard. I have a giant cupboard full of coffee that I need to get through. The next thing on this bag that I want to talk about is these brewing tips right here. And it says, use cold filtered water. And that is something that I fully agree with, even though I don't necessarily do that myself. Fully agree. Measure two tablespoons of ground coffee for each six ounces of water. Quite honestly, I'm sure I would like my coffee like that, but I feel like that might be a bit strong for your average coffee enjoyer. However, for your coffee connoisseurs out there, that, that might work out. And then it says enjoy within 30 minutes, which I fully agree. I fully agree with this especially if you have a normal coffee brewing machine. If you leave it on there after a while, it's gonna to start to taste a little bit burnt. Commitment to craft. And it says, when Alfred Pete opened his first coffee shop in Berkeley, California in 1966, he ignited a revolution that changed the expectations of American coffee drinkers. We've never stopped following his example, using only the world's finest coffees and expertly roasting to exacting standards to achieve the richest, most flavorful cup. And then it goes on to say sourcing with impact, the coffee you buy can impact the welfare of people and the planet. Pete's is actively engaged in the driving positive impact in communities where our coffees are grown. And there's a QR code on the bag to learn more if you're interested. On this side of the bag, it says signature blend coffees. There's a lot to talk about on this bag. Alfred Pete was renowned for achieving extraordinary depth through his blends. His secret, bringing together coffee is so exceptional, each could stand on its own. For unparalleled complexity and flavor, dive deep into our signature blends. Major Dixon's Blend. Developed by Mr. Pete and his most discerning customer, retired Army Sergeant Key Dixon, Major Dixon's Blend epitomizes 
the rich, flavorful taste of peats. So that was a cool little backstory on how this blend of coffee came to be. I had always kind of wondered if it was based off of an actual person or if it was just the name of a roast. I wasn't sure. Now we know. Now we know. If you want to learn more about Pete's Coffee, I will have a link to their website in the description of this video. They have a really cool About Us section on their website and it was well worth the read. They also have a lot of really cool and really interesting flavors on their website, some of which I'm considering ordering in the future. However, occasionally I have been lucky enough to see Pete's Coffee in a local grocery store. so. That's always a possibility that you can check your local grocery store. They might actually carry this. But coffee connoisseurs, with that being said, I just heard my coffee maker beep, and so I really want to go and get some coffee. But before we do that, I just want to say on Pete's Coffee's website, they have a bestseller tab. On that tab, Major Dixon's is actually featured. So I feel like I've made a good choice with Pete's Coffee. So we're, we're trying one of the best sellers. And now because I'm twice as excited, without further ado, I bring to you the coffee. Cheers, guys. Oh, that's got a really nice smell once it's brewed. It's not as strong as it is in the bag, but it's, it's good. This is going to be a good coffee. Let's go. This is a really good dark roast. The flavor is not as bold as I anticipated it would be based off of the smell. but it still does have a very robust flavor and it's very good it's very flavorful mild very mild hints of bitterness in this coffee but again if you're a fan of dark roasts you like your coffee a little bit bitter overall i'm actually i'm pretty impressed with this I wish it was just a little bit more bold. All in all, this is not a bad coffee at all. Of course, naturally, because it is a dark roast, it is going to have a little bit of a bitterness to it. Personally, I wish the boldness of the flavor was a little bit more relevant and kind of canceled out the hints of bitterness a little bit more than what it does but that's just me personally and that's just based off of my personal taste however i'm not knocking this coffee at all i'm not trying to talk bad on it this is a very good cup of coffee and and in all fairness, the bitterness that I'm talking about is more of an aftertaste of the coffee. So it's, it's very flavorful. So I'm curious as to what this is going to taste like with sugar in it. So let's go put some sugar in it. We're back. This is taste number two with two spoonfuls of sugar. Cheers everyone, thank you very much for being here, thank you for watching, I appreciate you guys. The scent seems even less bold than before once we've put the sugar in it, so I'm kind of curious about that. Let's see how it tastes. Wow, okay. So, once you sweeten this coffee, once you sweeten it, all of the bitterness that I was talking about is gone. It's gone completely. And the coffee becomes more bold, which is exactly what I wanted. It's exactly what I wanted. Personally though, and I know this is just me being picky, I wish it was that way without the sugar in it so that I could still get like that bold, dark, 
black unsweetened coffee taste to it but I'll take what I can get and be appreciative of it it's wild that the sugar did exactly what I wanted and was hoping it would do in this coffee that's crazy I'm I, I'm, I'm actually leaning towards I might actually prefer this with a little bit of sugar in it. It's absolutely crazy to me that this coffee does exactly what I hoped it would be once you put a little bit of sugar in it. Personally speaking, for my taste palette, I feel like one spoonful of sugar would have been like the ideal amount of sweetener in this so you're getting the more bold flavor and less of a sweet flavor but that's just my personal taste so I actually I think I have to give it to the sweetened version of this coffee because it's it's huge like once all of that bitterness was gone and then it's just a very bold robust flavorful cup of coffee it's a thumbs up from me I enjoyed it unsweetened before but the fact that the coffee transformed into everything I wanted it to be once we put a little bit of sugar in it that's exactly why I'm giving it to the sweetened side but guys this is all the time that I have for coffee review videos today unfortunately thank you very 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 much for taking the time to watch this video I really appreciate all of you we have a lot of new members to the channel. I was blown away. I took a little bit of break. I had to step back and I was like blown away that we had a lot of new people here and that's amazing. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the coffee club. Welcome to the family. Fellow coffee connoisseurs, I raise my mug to you. Cheers, everyone. And again, seriously, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. Remember, any time is coffee time. And I will see you on the next one. Peace, guys. Hello, coffee connoisseurs. Welcome to another episode of Coffee Snob Reviews. I'm your host, the Coffee Snob. And I forgot what I was going to say. And today I'm going to be reviewing Major Dixon Coffee by Pete's Coffee. And today I'm going to be reviewing Major Dixon's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be mature enough to actually do this video. Quite honestly, I'm sure I would like my coffee like that, but I feel like that might be a bit strong. Two tablespoons. For unparalleled complexes. Personally, I think maybe one teaspoon, or not teaspoon. Coffee. Zelda. If you want to learn more about beets, beets. What? <laughs> Everybody knows that Zelda over here is the real star of the show, and this whole like me and the coffee review thing is just like a secondary part of this channel. But really, it's Zelda's channel, and she just tolerates me being here. So thank you, Zelda. You're a good girl. She's not impressed. Today, I asked Siri, why am I still single? And Siri opened the front view camera. And that was an even darker roast than Major Dixon's Blend by Pete's Coffee.